And of course, it's Christmas Eve and Santa is making his way around the world. A look here at the NORAD Santa Tracker. And right now he is just seconds away to getting to Natal, Brazil. And so I want to wish my fellow co-anchor, Steve, hmm. um Feliz Natal. Obrigado, e você também. <laughs> Papai Noel quase tá lá, so uh, that means that he is almost there. And this is really significant because Natal actually means Christmas. Yes. So it's very appropriate. So uh, for people who don't know, Jessica uh, has a Brazilian descent. My wife is from Brazil, and my wife is, is from Recife, which is a big city pretty close to Natal. Yeah. And we've been there before. It's an amazingly beautiful city. And I love that uh, he's about to be there on Natal, which is Christmas in Portuguese. <laughs> I always got Brazil nuts in my stocking growing up. So that counts, right? <laughs> so you can join the group and we can wish everyone a Merry Christmas Eve. Yes, all watching Santa Claus. And I don't see any weather that's going to cause any significant problems with Santa Claus getting here overnight tonight. Usually there's little things, little hiccups here and there, but overall the Pacific Northwest is welcoming Santa with a cool down of temperatures. So he'll be nice and comfortable as those temperatures in some spots are going to be back near freezing, but most of us here in western Washington will be above the freezing mark tonight. Thanks to the cloud cover that's come in, you can kind of see that here in the sky from Everett Payne Field. Going into the waterfront in Seattle, you can see the Mount, you see Mount Rainier back there. It's a nice little silhouette. Now the clouds have been moving in as we expected ahead of a strong uh, disturbance that's getting stretched out and weakened before it even arrives here. But we'll have some rainfall coming in, not snow, but just rain here in the lowland areas tomorrow. 39 degrees right now in Seattle. Calm wind. Now, if calm wind is once again with us and the temperatures chill, you may be thinking, okay, are we going to end up with more fog again? Maybe in some spots, but it's more likely that we're going to keep the cloud cover up a little bit because the winds are calm now, but they should increase a little bit as we get into the uh, morning hours. So 42 degrees in Seattle currently, but look how chilly it is in Shelton, 34 degrees, 36 in Olympia. Some of the spots that had the icy freezing fog wind is calm for most of us. And if it's not calm, this is a fairly light, say five or six mile per hour wind out of the southeast uh, as this weather system approaches. Tonight we will be mostly cloudy. That will help most of us stay right above the freezing mark. Wind will be out of the southeast and it'll be up to about 10 miles an hour at most. So not super strong, but it keeps things mixed up a bit to once again prevent most of us from going too far to the freezing mark. Now that should say 36. Those are that uh, overnight low map is not quite correct, so I'll get that fixed for you. Otherwise, we have uh, the satellite to show you where low pressure is moving up towards British Columbia. As it does so, it'll eventually bring rain to the coast by morning. And the areas of rain will develop in Seattle for the morning hours, but most of our rain is expected to come after 10 a.m. Watch this. Here it comes. We're going to get a good hit of rain through the afternoon tomorrow, and then it breaks up to showers tomorrow night. So most of us will get that rain, but again, later in the afternoon. Snoqualmie Pass, good travel conditions right now. Rain and snow will increase in the afternoon with a snow level 3,500 feet. We're going to get two to seven inches of new snow. There's your white Christmas in the mountains. Now for the lowlands, our rain increases in the afternoon, a high of 45 for Seattle, and we will have increasing rain as we get into our Christmas day. Now on Saturday, wind in the morning. This is gonna be a blustery shot of wind very early Saturday morning, and then mostly scattered rain showers for us. Then things get a little quieter on Sunday, partly sunny skies breaking out, and another round of freezing fog comes on Monday. So mm. we're timing out these storm systems. They appear to be stronger in wind by the time we get to the end of next week. All right. Thank you, Rebecca. Back with more after this.